Hey friends, it's Natalia and welcome back to She Makes 31. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a throwback to our last house. I'll be showing you how we transformed a completely blank slate of a small backyard to an outdoor retreat for our family. And as a bonus, it's renter friendly. To start, we wanted to make a little patio for us to be able to put our furniture on and things like that. So we got some paver stones and use those to lay them out. First things first, you gotta put your dad hat on. <laughs> oh my gosh, how much more dad can you look? <laughs> so as you can see we had a little bit of a bare spot already on the yard where the sliding glass doors were because we had actually laid out some foam tiles um, just to have something to step on <laughs> instead of dirt when we went outside so it actually killed off some of the grass um, which was a bonus for us so after we measured the space and what we wanted um, by the way the stepping stones are I believe they were 12 by 12 like 12 inches by 12 inches are actually 11 and a half inches um, and they're like the cheapest you can get they were like a, under two dollars a stone um, but yes so first we're gonna go ahead and clear off this um, ground that we have here and this is a lot of hard work guys um, we pulled out all the weeds all the grass whatever it was mostly all weeds um, so pulling off all the weeds and measuring out the area is the first step next we got some bags of topsoil because we wanted to level off this area as much as possible I know that you can use leveling sand but because we were renting, we didn't want to spend too much money and we knew that this wasn't going to be a permanent um, patio. So the dirt worked out just fine for us. So um, just got some cheap topsoil and put that on top and just kind of leveled it out with a rake. Now this backyard had a little bit of a slope to it so it was a little tricky to get this as level as possible but you know we basically just walked on it and just seen where you know spots were not um, full you know and added dirt to that um, with three boys in the house it was so important for us to create a space where they can just go outside and run around and play and we can just sit back and relax and watch them and just enjoy our time outside And you all know that our little Noah always has to help. He is very hands-on, loves to work outside. So here he is helping us out. And I mean, what little boy doesn't enjoy playing out in the dirt? <laughs> All right, so here's what it looks like after we had put in all the dirt and leveled it off as best as possible. And then the next step after that was to get a tamper. We rented one from Home Depot for about $7. And it basically packs down all the dirt and compacts it and makes it, you know, just compressed and smooth. So this is a lot of manual labor here. It may not look like it, but it is exhausting. Um, they do have, I'm sure they do have some that are not manual, um, but you know, we had a small little patio here, so a manual one worked just fine for us. All right, so next we have these heavy duty tarps. We wanted to create a weed barrier 
um, so that we didn't get any weeds coming up between the stones. And I want to say that this is actually the first yard that we ever had. We had always lived in apartments before that. So this was totally a new experience for us. We're definitely beginners here. Um, but we put these tarps down and I would not suggest that you use um, weed fabric. Uh, we tried that. We actually ended up trying that later on in the front of the house. And we found that cardboard actually worked the best at keeping the weeds at bay. Um, after we laid these tarps down, I will say that the tarps also kept the weeds away. We never had any weeds come up um, in between the patio stones. Now, as you can see, the stones are actually not going to be completely level. This is not like a perfect patio or a permanent one. Um, so we were okay with that. We just wanted, again, that stepping stones, those um, nice little patio area to put our furniture on. And so um, we actually ended up selling these pavers to the owners after we moved out. Um, they actually wanted us to keep it there. Um, but if that wasn't the case, we actually had um, someone that was um, interested in buying them as well. So know that, you know, even if you put these down and you're renting, there's always a chance that you can sell them or ask the owner if they want to keep them. Normally you would use leveling sand and you would put um, a polymeric sand, I believe, in between the stones if you're doing this like a permanent solution. But again, this is just temporary and it worked out perfect for us. After we put an area rug down, it was just like you couldn't even really tell that it was not there permanently. It was awesome. If you haven't already checked it out, we also did a front yard landscaping makeover and a DIY flower bed. And then we also did a front porch uh, patio makeover. So I'm gonna link those videos here so that you can watch them and see everything that we ended up doing to this house. It was so much fun to just be able to enjoy the outdoors. And here you can see we're just laying these um, remaining stones on top of the dirt because we, our tarps weren't big enough. So um, we did have some weeds come up here, but it was all right. I also wanted to mention something really important that I did not get to film, but to finish off this patio, we used some flexible plastic um, paver restraints. Um, it's basically like an edging that looks like landscape edging, but it's made for patio stones and you use some stakes to kind of hammer them into the ground and make sure that the patio stones don't move and shift. All right, so next project was these uh, barrel planters and we also bought some four by four by eight posts, some quick crete. So what we're doing here, we wanted to put a sunshade sail up above in order to hold that up, we wanted to um, create some posts. So two of the posts um, were gonna be um, away from the house uh, where the fencing is. And so we created these posts with some concrete and poured that right in. Uh, we ended up using two bags of concrete per barrel. Um, the first one we mixed in before we uh, filled it up. And then the second bag we just poured in directly. We put it in the quick crete and then added the water. And also wanted to mention that we made sure that these were level before um, we let them set. We ended up drilling holes on the sides of these barrels and put in some dirt and put some flowers in. It's a cute little way to decorate it and make it look nice. 
Um, here I'm showing you the hardware that we used in order to um, put up the sunshade sail. We attached these to the posts um, and then hooked it on with the rope that comes with the sunshade sail to make sure it was nice and taut. I'll link as many of the items that I have in this video down in the description box below for you. And also, uh, we did end up tying these posts to the um, chain link fence just to add extra security. You know, we're here in South Florida and in the summer, you know, we can get some crazy thunderstorms. Um, so, you know, at one point it was weighing down the sunshade sail pretty badly. So we wanted to make sure that they were secure. So we attach or, you know, hook them up to the um, chain link fence with some really strong rope. The sunshade sail that we got is a rectangular shaped one which worked out perfect for this backyard. Um, it really did a great job at keeping the sun, you know, at bay and it was nice and lightweight and then on windy days it was just so pretty to look at, you know, it would just kind of flow um, up in the sky and it would just look really nice. Um, when it rained, yes, it did weigh it down a little bit but it wasn't something that was like, you know, too bad. So great way to keep the sun at bay. I wanted to show you these uh, deck tiles that we had gotten on clearance at Walmart. We actually decided to use some of these in the backyard where the dining area was. And I am gonna do a little bit of fast forward here because this was definitely not an overnight makeover. A few months later, this is what we did. We did um, a few updates here. I painted the stepping stones with some porch and patio paint. And then I added some AstroTurf, like the artificial grass, to the play area. And then the deck tiles to the dining area. And we also hung some cafe style patio lights around the sun canopy. And then we put fresh sod in whatever was left in the remaining areas. And then added the patio furniture and the outdoor area rug. And this is what it looks like, guys. And yes, we were able to enjoy these mangoes before we moved out. It was an unexpected move and if you want to know more about that, I do have a separate video on that. I also wanted to show you guys how we painted the chain link fence a black, a flat black, and it was a great way to disguise the fencing. It was so rusted, and so we used some Rust-Oleum oil-based um, paint to disguise it. It just came out wonderful. We did add a tree ring around the mango tree, and if you want to know how to do that, we have a video for the front landscaping makeover that shows how we did it on our front yard tree. 
this dining patio set is from Walmart and the black bench is from Target. The chairs on the patio are also ones that we got at Walmart and this rectangular outdoor umbrella and the lights are also from Walmart. And this green astroturf it was just the cheapest that we could find at Home Depot. We did use some landscaping fabric underneath it along with some pins. And it was just an easy way for the kids to be able to play and not make a mess with dirt and everything like that or mess up the grass. So astroturf was perfect for that area. To set the mood at night, we lit up our little bamboo tiki torches and all of the lighting. It's all about the lighting, guys. It just creates such a sweet ambiance. If you have any questions or you want to know where I got something, let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer everything. One of the hardest parts of leaving this house and moving was leaving behind this backyard because it was just amazing. It was like our little oasis. It was awesome. I, I really do miss it. All right, friends, let me know what you think. I hope that you got some ideas for your own home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.